artist. Uh, it takes, for, for one to want to be an artist, it's, it's a compelling uh, decision. Uh, you cannot take it lightly. Uh, to keeping your life simple, uh, enough to grow and expand your, not only your vision, but your skill set and, and a body of work that is um, collectible. And I think uh, as an artist, I want to be a collectible artist. I want to have work in museums. I want to have people experience the, what I feel is uh, work that has been done with um, great care of expressing how I've experienced art. It is my life. My life is my art. And uh, I've chosen a pathway of being an artist since I was um, in my 20s. And I, every decision I've made has moved me in that direction of building on being an artist uh, and a painter and a, uh, a conduit of information, visual, and everything that I feel is important to me. Uh, I grew up in the Midwest, uh, flat out there. And I found it, or even in my, in when I was in the sixth grade, I used to deliver the Des Moines Register with a friend. And uh, it was a small town, but there was a large horizon as we, of course, the day delivering that paper. I always read the paper. I was always wanting to be informed about what's going on. And, and I always, when I got a little older, uh, past the driving around the flatlands and seeing the sky and the lines of the of the telephone poles and stuff, uh, I wanted to see more. And one day, I remember when I was uh, in college, I was going to O'Hare for the first time on a uh, trip out east. And I said, man, you can go down here and you can be there and all these places. You can go to New York, you can go to Chicago, you can go all over the country and the world I really wanted to expand that horizon. I'm a person that has moved 38 times in my life, and I've continued to expand my horizon not only physically, but all the cultural and life forces that nuance that. So the lines and layers that you see in my pieces and how I build my pieces, there's kind of a uh, elementary state of a piece, uh, you know, building the surface. My life has been building a life art surface, I guess. This is um, a painting I just did last year on my head, but it's about fences and layers. And each line has an intention, uh, an expressive intention. So it's controlled freedom, really. And uh, that's kind of the character that you'll notice in all my pieces. Uh, there's a, life force there, line life force, you can call it shape force. Um, and uh, my intention, I guess, is to have the viewer be grabbed by a piece. If a person, for instance, comes up to this piece, which is a little dark and deep, but not distressful really, but moody, if they can come up and they pause and they think and they don't know quite why they like it or why it embraces them, that to me is a successful piece. You know, we, we're born, we live, we die, we experience, uh, and it's a profound thing, and I try to touch on that in my work.